Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In today's lesson we're going to continue our discussion of the scanning tools available in the Pro Real Time Charting Package with a look at a couple of scans which can show us the largest percentage movers in the different markets, uh, the largest volume movers in the different markets, as well as a scan which will allow us to look for uh, automatically uh, different candlestick patterns in the foreign exchange and equity markets. So let's get started. Okay, so to get to the next piece of scanning software in the Pro Real Time Charting Package, we're going to go to Display and then Top Movers 1 and then back to Display and click Top Movers 2. Okay, and that's going to bring up two windows which are going to default to the up and down, which means the uh, largest percentage movers up and largest percentage movers down for whatever list it is that you have selected. And as you can see here, I have the foreign exchange market selected. And this just gives you a nice quick overview of what the biggest uh, movers were to the upside and downside uh, for the foreign exchange market. And you can sort this by whatever you'd like. Here's the smallest movers up and sort it that way. Um, sort it by price, price reference, whatever you would like there. Okay, And you can also do this for, this is since the opening, but you could do this for the last hour. Okay, and there they are there. Um, you could do it you know, for whatever time period you want there. Okay, And there's a number of other criteria here um, which does not apply to the foreign exchange market since you don't really have gaps or uh, with the exception of the weekend potentially or volume in the foreign exchange market. So if we switch this to NASDAQ all, okay, you can run the same scan there for biggest movers up and down, um, but you could also look at volume here. Okay, the biggest movers from vo from a volume standpoint, which is something some people like to look at. You can look for uh, gaps up or down in the market. So let's see, let's just sort this by last here. Okay, click on the instrument there, and it brings up the chart. And you can see the gap that it's identified there, which some people like to trade gaps. Okay. Um, in addition, I don't really use these, but for people who are day trading stocks, um, pre-open, there's, there's some scans that you can run on the pre-open, the up-down there, uh, as well as order book information Okay, here. All right, and then one other neat little thing here um, is the ability to identify candlestick patterns in uh, the different markets that you're trading. So. This is an example. There's you know a ton of patterns here, but let's let's look for a doji. Okay, and you can see here there's a number of different dojis that it's identified. Let's go to the Aussie Kiwi here. Okay, and you can see that little doji there that it's identified for you um, for the foreign exchange market. And you can run those on all of the equity markets as well. Okay, so some other neat little scans there for you to play around with and also things that we're going to be able to use in later lessons to uh, look for multiple different conditions um, all at the same time using another section of the software. So I wanted to show you that quickly. All right. As always, if there's any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And good luck with your trading.